Welcome YouTubers, uh, my name is Daniel Strong and welcome to uh, Excel VBA is Fun YouTube channel. Um, this channel is actually dedicated and in honor of our very own uh, YouTube guru, Mike Gervin, whose channel is actually Excel is Fun. In fact, if you've not been to his channel, uh, I want you to click pause and uh, go to his channel right away. Um, I I owe my career to him, and uh, this guy is awesome. He will—he's got uh, almost 2,000 videos now that will teach you Excel inside and out. Um, one of the topics that he really doesn't cover too awful much is the Visual Basic aspect of Excel, and so I thought, uh, in honor of him, and kind of just to give back. Um, uh, I would like to do some tutorials on that. So let's get started. Um, we're going. To, uh, the first thing you need in order to use Visual Basic Code is the de Developer tab in the ribbon here. And by default, it is not available um, to the average user. What you do is you click on File. I'm in Excel 2010. You go to File and click on Options. And in the Customize Ribbon button here, you'll see that developer is deselected. This checks box, we're going to select it, and then we're going to hit OK. And you'll see immediately we have the Developer tab. We're going to be using this a lot. Um, inside here, you've got um, form controls such as buttons, checkboxes, things like this uh, you may want to use on a worksheet. However, um, we also have the availability to record a macro. That is when you want to investigate some procedure um, that you do. Um, and we'll, we'll review that more. What, what we'd like to show you today is the Visual Basic Ribbon. And I will show you the Visual Basic Editor. That's important. There's a button here, and you'll see highlighted is Alt plus F11. So rather than clicking this button here, I typically will just hold my thumb on the Alt key and hit F11 like this. That will bring up your Visual Basic, uh, Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications. That's VBA, and in Excel, it can be a very, f uh, very powerful and effective tool. Here you see we have these objects. We have Sheet One. Uh, sheet 2 and Sheet 3. Right now, if I double-click on them, there's no code in here. We don't have any code in either of these uh, sheets, and we don't have any code in the, this workbook object. So uh, what I want to show you today uh, is when you're in the Visual Basic um, when you're in the Visual Basic ribbon, uh, you can create what's called procedures, um, similar to when you record a macro, and you'll when you go look at them. Uh, you'll see this drop down here. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is create a module, and a module is basically just an object that stores codes. So other than just storing a code inside a worksheet, we're going to click on the module one here, and what we're going to do is create our first procedure. And by doing that, you just type sub, you hit a space, and you give it a name. And you don't want to have any spaces in this name, so we're going to call this sub test one. And when I hit enter, you could you could do your parentheses like this. I just hit enter, and it nicely puts the end sub to close it up, and it puts the um, parentheses for you. So I'm going to create a little space here so we can work. What our objective today, what our objective is to use the range and the cells. Uh, we're going to use those two different types of codes, and I'm going to show you that now. Uh, every cell, technically, on your workbook is a range, uh, and a group of cells like this, right now we have A1 through C6 selected, that is a range. Um, and uh, as you know, if you've been watching Excel is Fun, Mike Gervin's videos, uh, that can be notated as, you know, uh, A1 colon A6 and that would be the range. So that's how we type that. But in the Visual Basic, and in order to, to denote that, what we would do, it was we would type range, open parentheses, and uh, we can uh, use the cells. We're not going to use the cells right now. I'm going to show you with the quotation mark. We're going to type A1 colon A6, and you put another quotation, and you close it up. Uh, that is the range, the range A1 through A6. And now we're going to tell it that we want that to equal the value of 1. 
So uh, when I click away, you see it nicely capitalizes the range and it spaces everything out correctly. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run our macro. What we're telling Ex uh, what we're telling Excel is that we want the range of A136 to equal one. So every value in here is going to immediately become one at the same time. So what we can do is we can either hit this play button by hitting F5 or we can click play. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do that now. Let's run our macro. I'm going to click play. So, uh, excuse me, uh, that would have been A1 through C6. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. A1 through C6. Let's run it again. You'll see that everything uh, A1 through C6 has now become the value of 1. And if we wanted the value to be uh, the text word blah, B-L-A-H, you just put that in quotes, because text needs quotes and numbers do not need quotes. Now let's run it again. Let's see what happens. Okay, so immediately the values of A1 through C6 have become the word blah. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is that we do not have to uh, have Excel go through the whole range of commands at once, rather than hitting this or clicking the F5 button to run this macro, um, you can singularly run one line at a time. Um, uh, once again, I'm just going to show you, if I hit F5, it, it does that. But I'm, what I wanted to show you now is that uh, you could run through several lines of code. For example, if I put range uh, B B4 equals the word um, tacos, okay, uh, totally random, but we're, what this tells Excel to do is, of course, do the blah thing right here, and then it's going to take B4 only and, and put tacos in it. If I hit F5, you'll see that all that is done immediately. It did all this first, and then it took B4 and put tacos in there. But, I'm going to erase that. I want to show you what we're going to do what's called debugging. Debugging is simply going one line at a time. So what we can do is there is, um, in fact I don't even see it on this menu, I've been using shortcuts for so long. Um, I'm going to hit the F8 key on the very top of my keyboard and that this is highlighted this row, so that's where we start, is at the very beginning of the procedure. And if I hit F8, of course it goes to the next one. It has not run this line, it has select this line. This is the next one to be com um, completed. When I hit F8, it has now done the first command. And when I hit F8, it will now do this command. Right, and You see when I hover my mouse over range B4, it says currently range B4 equals the word blah. You see that pops up? It says currently range B4 is blah. If I hit F8 to execute the command that I want it to be tacos, we'll see when we hover over it that range B4 equals tacos. Uh, and sure enough, we can see behind this screen that it has become tacos. So that's it for this first YouTube video. I guess we did not get to the cells um, command. Uh, we have reviewed a range and we can turn that into numbers. Um, we can turn it into text by surrounding it with quotes. Um, and we can uh, use the uh, F5 button to run a command immediately. When we're in the Visual Basic menu, we hit F5, it does that. Um, we have learned that you can debug by clicking inside, anywhere inside your sub procedure, your macro, and hitting F8, and you can do one command at a time instead of doing it all at once. Um, and any of you that have ever recorded a macro or have edited a recorded macro but haven't made one from scratch, um, you may have. Uh, you may know that you can access your macros if you click the macro button here or Alt F8 to see the macro menu and you see that the one that we named test one is available so uh, oops I'm going to cancel that what I'd like to do now is run it that way really quick and then we'll end the video clicking that oh, let's go ahead and click run we want to run the one called test one it's currently hidden but if I run it sure enough it did the commands that I wanted it to so thank you so much for viewing this Excel VBA is fun video um, hopefully the first of many and I hope that uh, of course Mike Gervin takes this as a compliment and not as some kind of copycat thing. Right, God bless you all and thanks for tuning.